The sands of time take us back to 247 BC to the vibrant city of Carthage in ancient North Africa. A world away from our modern age, this was an era of mighty empires teetering on the brink of battle and ceaseless rivalries. The Mediterranean world was divided with Rome and Carthage, two colossal powers locked in a struggle for dominance during the Punic Wars. Carthage, a city of grandeur and wealth, was a thriving hub of culture and commerce. Rome, on the other hand, was a burgeoning republic, flexing its military might and political influence. Both of these civilizations were driven by their ambitions, their fears, and their desire to control the Mediterranean world. In the midst of this tumultuous epoch, military strategies were born, alliances were formed and broken, and the course of history was being carved out. The cultural, political, and military dynamics of this period were complex and often brutal. Born in this era of conflict and power was a child destined to become one of the greatest military tacticians the world has ever known, Hannibal Barker. Hannibal, born to Carthaginian commander Hamilcar Barker, was a warrior in the making from his early years. The embers of his future greatness were stoked in the fiery crucible of his father's enmity towards Rome. Young Hannibal was not simply raised, he was forged, molded by the iron will of his father, who had him swear an oath at the tender age of nine to never befriend Rome. His rise to power was not a chance event, but a destiny carved into the annals of history by the steady hand of fate. As he ascended the ranks of Carthaginian military, his innovative strategies and tactics soon became the stuff of legends. He was not just a commander, he was a visionary, seeing opportunities where others saw only obstacles. Consider his audacious crossing of the Alps, a feat thought impossible by many. Hannibal, with an army of 40,000 men and 37 war elephants, faced the treacherous mountains, the biting cold, and the hostile tribes. But he saw not an obstacle, but a pathway to victory. He turned the impossible into a stepping stone, leading his army through the icy paths and onto the plains of Italy, striking terror into the heart of Rome. Hannibal's daring and brilliant tactics stunned the Romans and won him many battles, but the war was far from over. Hannibal, despite his military genius, was ultimately unable to conquer Rome. As we delve into the later chapters of Hannibal's life, we see a man grappling with the harsh realities of war, politics, and personal ambition. His defeat in the Battle of Zama marked the end of his military career, but it by no means marked the end of his impact on history. Following his defeat, Hannibal found himself in a Carthage that was a shadow of its former glory. Stripped of its empire, its navy, and its pride, the city had little left to offer its once celebrated general. Despite this, Hannibal sought to rebuild, turning his attention to politics. However, his attempts at reform stirred the ire of Rome, and he was forced into exile, wandering from kingdom to kingdom, never to see his beloved Carthage again. In his exile, Hannibal served as a military advisor to several kings, sharing his vast knowledge of warfare and strategy. Yet he was dogged by Roman agents who sought to capture him. In the end, rather than fall into the hands of his lifelong adversaries, he chose to take his own life, thus ending the saga of one of the most renowned military strategists in history. Hannibal's failure to conquer Rome was not due to a lack of military genius or audacity, but rather a combination of factors largely beyond his control. The lack of support from Carthage, coupled with Rome's resilience, were significant obstacles. His audacious crossing of the Alps and his victories on the battlefield were not enough to overcome these challenges. Yet it is precisely these feats that have immortalized Hannibal in history. His innovative tactics, his use of elephants in battle, his ability to inspire and lead his men, and his unyielding determination in the face of adversity have made him a figure of study and admiration among military scholars and enthusiasts alike. His strategies continue to be analyzed and taught in military academies around the world, and his story is a testament to the human spirit's resilience. Though Hannibal did not succeed in his mission to conquer Rome, his military genius, audacity and resilience left a profound impact on military strategy and the course of history. 
His life serves as a reminder that victory is not the only measure of greatness. Sometimes it is the struggle, the audacity to dream big, and the courage to pursue those dreams even in the face of insurmountable odds that truly define a person's legacy.